All right, back with the parable. Although... Nope, oh, wait, it's ringing again. Hello. How does this change the cycle? Was scheduled you about the dangers of recorded messages. If at any time you believe you are listening to a recorded message, please terminate it immediately and cease all flow of information from the recorded message into your perceptual sphere. Don't don't talk to me. Seriously, how do I get back to the new content thing? Or is it all just in here now? No, there should be an, a door. Okay, um, let's not take the bucket this time. We'll bring him through next round, because now I'm going through the doors on the right. It's mosquito, goddammit. Yeah, because I don't, where's the new content? It was in one of these first areas, but not now. Alright, let's go. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his way. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. He did. That's exactly what he wanted to do. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first time understood true happiness. Then the feeling went away, and he felt sad again. Then it came back. And lingered for a minute or two. Just a minute now or two. Now it's only half there. Just a kind of, um, tingle. This place is a mess. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room mm, yeah. so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. All right, I'm out. Really worth it. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Hmm. Came through here before. Not fine. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Well, hold on. No, he didn't. I wonder if I could have backed off that lift. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. Wait, have so I come down here before? To get back, he needed to go, um, oh, no. Yeah, this is the reset. He's like, wait, go here. No, here. Left. Nope. Oh, no. No, it's to the right. My mistake. No, 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 no. Not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on? Shuffle pages. Here. Now let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep. Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Hmm. I wonder, I feel like the first time I came here, I could have snuck through that door because I was close enough when it opened. No, 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 oh. no, 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 this isn't right at all. You're nope. not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. Fired. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now whole story completely unusable how about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense we'll just restart the game from the beginning and this time suppose we don't wander so far off track hmm? okay from the top what all right check 
Hmm. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply hey, wait. a memory. Is this it? Wait, is this part of the same cycle? Because the bucket's not here. Huh. Whoa! Whoa! Wait, what? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear I okay. completely restarted the game over. Completely Wait, finished. why is it Everything different this time? Oh, did something change? Yeah. Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh, hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. It's definitely different. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Oh! Well, Stanley, let's find... The story. I feel like these two are the normal rooms. I'm in the back rooms, oh my god. Uh I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's gotta be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? No, I there was a door there. If I had gone through quick, would it have cancelled the reload? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley nope, decided it's the to same cycle. The room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. Okay, yep, it's worse. Yeah. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? All right. Did we? Not seeing much. Aha! Ah. I knew we'd miss something. Well, the story. Here it comes. Okay. Now it's gonna go, yep. No, wait, never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way <laughs> and retrace our steps. I'm trying. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay. Now this... Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm... Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Oh! Congratulations! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. Wait, where did... Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. Oh, we God. No, you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. Yeah, I am too. I don't, I don't like what it. What might happen this time? I have to restart. Oh! Right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Here we go. Adventure Line. Follow the yellow brick road, road, baby. How simple is that? Can do. Oh. Well, hold on now. No, no, I'm done. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. Oh, okay. <laughs> you 
see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Nope, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or yeah. Or in another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Sure Simply is. By the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a oh. byproduct of one's subjective experience of that existence, right? True. Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Yes. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Ooh. But well, what's down here? Oh, just looped around. What? Wait. Somehow. I'm supposed to jump along the wall there. Oh, that's funny. That's a nice little Easter egg. That's from... I don't remember what game, but I know that's from something. I'm pretty sure. Like Payday or some heist game, maybe? Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely. You're a liar. And remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Liar. Do I need to study it even closer? We're back at the office? Oh, what? No, 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 line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? This is new. I don't think I've been in here, though. Oh. Uh, oh. No, 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 not again, line. How Son of a bee. Done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. Nah. Is that it or even more? Oh. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something we can. Let's go. Daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Here? Now, yes, this is exciting. Back Just rooms. me and Stanley forging a new path, a new We're going to loop right back okay. around. What do you want our story to be? 
go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Oh, no, not you again. Oh, butthole. I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. All right, well. Okay. Oh! Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. Liar. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know hmm. that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Yep. Oh, hold up. What's this? Ooh. Ha! Hmm. A confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? Yep. And we're supposed to restart the game, what, eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? Where am I at now? Um, determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this <gasps> thing. Wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say? So eight all of times. This? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't I'm want on to four like right this. now. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't yeah, you will. do it. I won't do it. And the timer is uh, stopped. Does that mean? Uh oh. Did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um, whatever it is that made this schedule. How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. We start it, bro. You know what you gotta do. Just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. Nope. We'll find out, won't we? We're only on four out of eight. Well, in the meantime, if you... Oh, God. He's going to forget he reset. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go oh, wait. to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wait, did I get it? I thought there was more to do. Huh. A good bucket. A strong Interesting. bucket. Interesting. A humble bucket. A committed bucket. A bucket of culture and distinction. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly. I only got halfway through. That's interesting. Room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the weird lounge was simply the place hey. to be. Is that the line again? Am I in this? Still in the cycle? And here it was. Had the bucket turned out? To I be don't know. Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. Huh. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. 
and so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Psych. So that's interesting. I don't know if I me mess something up or if that's the end of the. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place. What the fuck? Okay. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones and that I love Stanley. It. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they not never this seen new before. shit. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't it's you my want bucket. another story involving the adventure line? We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. Oh. Whee! Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Maybe this is the same? I don't know if this is the same one or not. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> <laughs> it's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Not the bucket. Okay. Don't you oh, get no. it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. What? I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? I don't want to. Can you guess what the bucket destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. No. Can I not? Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. No. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder no. what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the Bucket Destroyer is getting very upset now. Nope. You have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn oh, bucket. Fuck. Quickly now. The fans are waiting. Do it the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. Hurry and... Nope. Can't do it. Uh-huh. <laughs> destroyer my prized creation you had so much potential we were going to do such marvelous things with you tell such spell-binding stories about you all of it squandered now goodbye new friend for the moment in time that you were here you were magnificent <laughs>
is new. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never yep. functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. So he's getting his bucket. The embrace of an old friend. A weathered companionship that stands the test of time. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was it? No. Never mind. The bucket <laughs> was wrong. Psych. Stanley took the door on his left. To go back, and so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Ah, uh, damn it! All right, so this time I will destroy and see what happens. Oh, good Stanley! I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. Let me We've out come of here. together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Whee! Look at that wacky line. Let's go. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. It did. Silly my ass. This shit rules. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. That's Don't some banjo kazooie shit. Great jokes from the original dialogue. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> yes, it's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. Yeah, That's yeah. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. I don't want this to, but I need is to. The bucket destroyer. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well fleshed out character with so much personality that to me it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Uh, Can you guess what the bucket destroyer does? Yeah, I got an idea. Don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. Oh, I can't. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket. Oh, it doesn't let me. Do okay. It can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve Good, to they don't the let me. I don't want to do characters? it. Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so desperate... Alright, so I don't think I can destroy. That's not allowed. Even now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? There was a computer. All right, there. so let's carry on without painting. the bucket was it for. A painting or a oh. photo? He could. No, we'll take the it. Made Stanley want to be a better man and a better coworker. In time, perhaps he would become both of those things. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was it? No. Never mind. Alright, so I went through there. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Now, if I go back and to the meeting room, does this put me back on the regular path? Or is this an alternate path now that I went the wrong way first?
I think I might just be back on. Let's see, though. Oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? The broom closet. Yeah, I think I'm just back on. Okay. Let's take the wrong way. Again. Boot and a boot. No exposition though. Not everyone is so lucky to have a bucket, but Stanley was a very lucky fellow. Very lucky indeed. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his throat. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was no. Never mind. No, it's not. The bucket was wrong. All right, so now I think he's Stanley going the wrong way. The on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. <laughs> Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes, go there. Go to the cargo lift. Oh, okay. He's got cold feet. Well, from here, but Stanley feared that oh. the path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dear oh. friend. So he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms. Okay. So deeply touching. All right, so let me try dropping down there without the bucket. Is that different? Is that going to mix things up? Oh, hold on. TL. BRB. Piggy, you want to go out? You want to go out real quick, pup? No whites allowed.
BRB in five.
girl. Fifteen-minute break. That's all right. <coughs> all of his co-workers. Of course, now I forget what I'm doing. What could it mean? Which one was I in to go to the meeting room? Perhaps he had simply. It takes a lot of humility to get a bucket so magnificent. Stanley checked his ego and then proceeded. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting. He room. went the wrong way. Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was no, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Okay, so I jumped down before the with the bucket. Back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Can I get... Go there. Oh. Go to the cargo lift. Hold up. Oh! Lots of boxes. A place with lots of boxes. The name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stanlorines and fig leaves. What do you think, Stanley? What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. It'll get there. Well, now where's this going to take me? Oh. Oh. Ooh. I need to come here without the bucket. Recordings. What is this? What? I don't even know. I've lost track. Nothing feels real anymore. The longer I study this Oh, bucket, he's talking about the bucket. The less sense anything makes. Evidence Fear number 252. The I feel every time I pick it up. The bucket no does something. How many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest. What the hell is this? Set it down. Oh, it doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. Is it a magic bucket? Still, haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms why everything feels so what do i do with this treasure this is weird i can i can monetize it i was going to merge the bucket yes. it's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. Huh? This is my golden ticket. I've got the golden bucket. Because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get me. Uh-oh. What's that? Who's there? scream okay I love games like this that make no sense just weird little fucking connection things all right <laughs> oh what the hell that was so now I gotta go there without the bucket gone what could it mean Stanley decided to go to the meeting room stay here perhaps he had simply missed a memo The 
when Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not nope. the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. That he did. It was okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took it was the first okay. open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. So let's jump off. But in his eagerness oh. to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Game Good over. Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Sweet. Now I gotta go down on the platform. Oh, Triscuit, you're so cute. I can't stand it. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to I the saw this giant crosshair. He missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. He sure does. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Shut that shit. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. I almost didn't see this. Alright, how's this gonna be different? Oh! Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun to plot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun to plot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun to plot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun to plot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun to You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? Uh, what a silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording? It was all just in Stanley's head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It must ah, be so simple. Putting in digs, you. dude. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. <sighs> Now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. Dope. All right, I know last time I came here, too, when I went, when I first got to this crap, when I backed off, he made a little comment, so that might be an option as well. Other than actually going across. I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? <gasps> hey, I knew I saw someone before. Was that me? Was that Stan Lee? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. All right, Perhaps bucket he list. to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. But eager to get back to business. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. He did not. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. So, if I... Oh, well, look who's got cold feet. Sorry to break it to you, Stanley, but that lift isn't coming back. You must uh, either get comfortable right here on this platform, or test your luck by jumping to the floor below. Oh, uh, is that my only you know, option? Looking at it now, it's not that far to the bottom floor. I bet you can make it. Shit. Okay, so that was... Come on. I'm sure you'll survive the jump. Don't tell me you're scared. That's not the Stanley I know. Do it. 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 Ah. Looks 
like I was wrong. How clumsy of me. Damn you. I wonder if I back up and then go through the vent, if it'll be, probably not. It'll probably be the same as if I didn't back off. All right, bucket time. All of his co-workers were, wait, no, this isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stan's office? Stanley cradled the bucket in a gentle embrace. My boy. Assertive, yet delicate. Assertive, yet compassionate. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was it? No. Never mind. No. The bucket was wrong. Stanley wrong. put the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes, go there. Go to the cargo lift. Cargo Good, lift it is. The now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Hold on, can I run and jump? I question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him. So it's going over there. Thinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Okay, so we got the jump off. This is something. Danger everywhere. God. No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? That could be it. That would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. What do we do, though? This understanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, step in here for a moment. In where? Uh-oh. Uh, the hell's going on in here? Oh, ah! what the hell? Now then, I'm going to run you through some test scenarios and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simple enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is this looks like a fun game show. A bucket. Okay, let's begin. Item one, is this a bucket? Incorrect. It is a hologram of a bucket, huh. not an actual bucket. Item two, is this a bucket? Incorrect. It is a 3D printed okay. version of a bucket, not an actual bucket. This guy. Item three. Is this a bucket? Correct. There we go. This is a bucket. Item four. Is this a bucket? What? Are you hallucinating? <laughs> it's a tractor. It's an enormous machine that tills the earth. I thought this was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. Let's just move on to the next one. How many are there? Is this a bucket? All right, fine. Incorrect. Son of a bitch. This is a bucket. <laughs> I'm just going to hit yes again. Item six. Is this a bucket? 
trick question. Both. Gotcha. Ha. All right. All right, come on now. We done? Item. Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. It's in my hand. Okay, you and I both know there isn't anything <laughs> here. And I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something. And therefore, <laughs> nothing could possibly be something. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? Answer me straight, Stanley. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? No. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. I've lost all sense of perspective. What huh. is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? You are a bucket. Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But I'm going to erase all buckets what? from the game entirely. Okay. Here we go. No. 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 This is going to be like, bitch, you thought, psych. What happened? Is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait, he messed up. Was everything a bucket? Ah! Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Oh my god. I, I knew it. Here. How could... Except me. I am not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. Thank God. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue. So he's going to bring everything back. That we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, I'll reset everything, and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? Deal. And we'll know that it's all a bucket, but if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. <laughs> Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, fuck them up. Here we go. Here we go. in the loop oh okay that got whoa uh i don't think this is part of it i think i glitched it <laughs> by trying to run out of the office before it loaded Let's see if it does it again nope I can't not. wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the so time So now let me go down there without the bucket. Missing. Or through there, I guess. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No, he's not. He's going to run right by it. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. All right, doors open again. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I is this where he starts making fun of me? Your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? <laughs> Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Do you, though? Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. How? Alright, here we go. Now oh. listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. You're getting close. Oh, one more. Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon you'll collect the last one, and then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be it. 
<laughs> we'll be different people by then. Different <laughs> in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Lorenes. None of us can. Figler and Lorenes. Alright, I'll do... I'll do red. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I want it to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think mm. I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Oh. The hell? Uh. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. What the hell? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love this. It's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> Do I stay here? They all gonna coalesce. Whoa, whoa! All right, this is awesome. This is really cool. All is that gonna do something? Fade to darkness. I, I guess I'll hang out until... Hmm. No, wait. Where are you going? Right. Where were we? Oh. Alright, well, we're gonna have some mature content, I guess, here. Oh no! Stay away from those stairs! If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset! Is this where we'll the last figurine is? This. I think stairs was one of them. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here! Don't take this from me! Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. Uh-oh. No! Oh. oh! Oh! Thank God. You lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? There. See? This is what you want. This is where we can both be happy. What the we hell is happening bad. here? If we stop moving, we just have to stop moving. Do I wait again or do I... This is weird and cool. You still have to go through the blue door, though. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't know if I'm 
waiting for it to do something? Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. Oh, no. No. No, no. What are you doing? Do you just not believe me? What can I say to convince you? Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for yes perhaps you can perhaps you finally see what i'm talking about what is happening here i know you'll see you'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place you can see that can't you no perhaps not I think I'm getting slower and slower, like I'm losing health. But I'm not positive. My god, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be I don't want to do it. You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess Okay, this is depressing me. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Is it over? going to restart isn't it i'm going back okay that one was sad i didn't like that one <laughs> you know you can skip it i ain't no bitch but all of his co-workers were gone what could it mean stanley decided to go yes, to the I meeting know. room perhaps he had simply missed a memo all right so blue door This is weird. Why does this place come up? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Wait. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Oh, yeah, this is the I right way, right? I realize investing yeah. your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about me. What? Really? I was in the middle <laughs> of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked oh, this through the closed now. Door. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Yeah. Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't I do. Let me stop you. You see? Oh my! There's nothing here. Whoa! Have you finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? 
Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Yeah, this is you cool. I think I put a lot of time into that because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Dude, I love what you got. What are you talking about? New design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more <coughs> choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How nah. did I know the game needed a third draw? Well, it's instinct mostly. A calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt from me. My soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Good old Neo Nacho Nacho. Hmm. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, oh, honest yeah. answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of the new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of the new game I've been working on, and now would be a <laughs> Did I skip that by hitting the buttons? In this nope. Game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the that is some fire. will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep <clears throat> notes on your experience. They definitely did something. They definitely did a an easter egg if you do it for four hours, I'm sure. Nah, let him go. You heartless bastard. Sorry, child. You it because you hate babies or purely to spite me. Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. That baby burn. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <coughs> okay. Mm -mm, yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. The hell is happening? Uh, ah, fascinating. What? what do you think this game is about, Stanley. What? What's our backstory. What is our motivation? Hmm. Whoa. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your... Yo, body. what the fuck? Perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Did they? Hmm. Really? Yes, is this made by the same team? Where's my turtle? Fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. What the fuck so is this? I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. This game oh, rules. Let's venture outward and see what else is out there. What the... 
Okay. Is it going to do the actual mechanic where I slow down as I go through here? No. What is happening right now? I'm freaking out. No, 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 no. Comfy. This has to be made by the same team. It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it off. Ha! Ah. Oh, thank goodness. Wow. What a close call. You really wanted off into that that thing. That big open just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any <laughs> He's gonna puke. Oh, thank heavens we avoided it. Where's the outhouse? It's now standing. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. <laughs> the hell's he attack on Titan? <laughs> okay. I think this will be just the thing. What the hell is going on right now? Okay, what is this? Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. What the actual fuck is going on here? Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. Yeah. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? What Stand is it. happening? I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yeah, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Oh. Oh, shit. Goal. Oh! What are you doing? Uh. Bad goal. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't. Oh. I goofed. Oh, good. What the hell? Oh! Am I going back to my office? Where the hell am I? Yep. What is going on here? Okay, so not here. Uh, I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. Hell. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. <laughs> Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. I don't like that. Okay. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked what? over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. 
nobody walking there that time. Ah, Stan lives back here. The only co-worker he will Alright, so now I can take the lift across. Stan may clutch the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Nope. No, said the bucket. No. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes, good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you so to I do. I went all over there. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. I'm missing one chose not to think statue about figurine. He was firmly Whatever convinced the, that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Dark? It's not dark. Oh, this dark room. Okay. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick up the phone and it will take us back home where we can go about life together. Let's see if I don't pick it up. Oh, Whoa! Don, why did you unplug the phone? Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do things. Buckets can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the joke? It's funny, Stanley. A talking bucket. Ugh. Can't you see? Oh, oh, goodness. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually do. No, dude, seriously. you nailed it. You Where had me. Mess up the joke. Should I have paused for longer? Or spoken quicker. Oh, comedic timing is so difficult. I didn't think I'd be able to I do that. I be better at it. But there isn't exactly an instructional video on comedy that one can watch to fully... Oh, wait. Yes, there is. Um, it's sitting right here. Let's take a look. What is comedic timing? <laughs> what is comedic timing? How does it work? How long should it last? How can it be used to effectively silence your political enemies? What the hell and more is this? importantly, can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is yes. Let's dive deeper. If you've ever told a joke or made someone laugh, <laughs> in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit okay. with one of your arms <laughs> raised straight upward at a 15 degree angle from your body. These are the optimal conditions for good comedic timing. To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling Is your Andy name. Richter? <laughs> Next, provide a brief synopsis of the joke, including the specific times at which the recipient of the joke will laugh, and then spell out your name a second time. With these steps complete, it's time to begin the humor. Speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds, and no less than 13 and a half, pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary. <laughs> when the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. <laughs> is screening, I'm Dunny with the funny now. I'm Dunny with the funny. Good. This saying is a perfect <laughs> example of expectations <laughs> management, which is the cornerstone of good comedy. Finally, it's time to hand out surveys. Collecting hard data from your audience on Dadder. how rapt they were throughout the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. An effective survey should be no less than 10 pages long and should include the same question reprinted several times. Just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention and not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over Good in the 
and even tripled over in Leicester in no time at all. Just remember to let them stop laughing at some point, you gut-busting little scamp. After all, with each of us needed on the front lines of the war to fight the twelve-legged invader who threaten our very existence, what? and to very luckily die in a hailstorm of bullets and mandibles. All of us must okay. be prepared this to took give a our turn. lives to this noble cause, just as our children must do after us, and their <laughs> children after them. Godspeed, and may Earth reign supreme. Okay. <laughs> Hey, goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? Well, no matter. I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again so I can try telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. Come along, let's head back. All right. This time, I'm really going to nail the delivery. You'll be oh, this time it's got a gate on it. Walking bucket, you'll say. How ridiculous. How absurd. What I a can't hilarious jump. concept. The king of comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we have the instructional video. Otherwise, who knows where we'd be right now. Well, I wouldn't be the king of comedy, that's for sure. The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke. The bucket spoke. Oh, I'll figure it out on the fly. No need to overthink things. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. Is this just going to take me through the regular path now? Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. What? Uh, we're back at the phone already. No, no, no. What's going on? There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. Is it because I cheated? There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. A dramatic display of remarkable comedic wit which culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. The joke will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. Not the way it was meant to. And it's all to. my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors room. What an egregious mistake. I've made a fool of myself. I don't deserve the title of king of comedy. I'm nothing. I'm not even the lowliest joke-telling wealth. I think... I think I need to go back and rewatch that instructional video again. Yes, surely that will help me improve my... Ha! Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back to the phone. My bad. I did not even look at the instructional video. I think this was all covered very clearly. There's no way I can make the comedic timing work now. It's done. The joke is completely done and over. It's all your fault, Stanley. I'm going to be ridiculed in the community of other joke writers. I'm going to be shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you yeah, proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are you proud? Is he going to do it again? Stanley, you love the bucket so much it's like you... <clears throat> it's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale in comparison. Yes. What the fuck? Well, let me try that again, Stanley. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashedly in love with a bucket you are. No, you know, it, it is a delivery. Pale with shame. Pale with shame. Pale. What's another word to describe a bucket? Stanley, this bucket is so mental. I think I saw it playing guitar. No, no. <laughs> Stanley, get out of there, man. That's what will make me the king of comedy again. More instructional videos. 
Sorry, Leroy. Additional assets, Valve. Do I need to loop it again? Or did I fuck up? Nope, full loop. A soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain started. And if it did, it stopped shortly after. Is Stanley without the bucket really Stanley? See, now I wonder if that would have been different and I, if I had gone enough, Stanley clutched the properly in the door on the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge is time I got to answer the phone to be in. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Or no, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, nope. said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go See, somewhere there's else. no guides no on it this time. Room. Yes, good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose oh, not to can. think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Hello. Uh, this is the sad story of a man named Stanley oh. and his bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. Oh, hello. Hell yeah, let's go. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. No, he's with me. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. No? Wait. Yeah. Back to work. Oh, I'll try anyway. Stanley! Can you hear me? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it would ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. You sure about that? Don't listen to the loud man. You see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about is this awful bucket. This stupid hunk Shut of Shut up, metal. I love my bucket. It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket. This cold, empty bucket. This sort of... Shiny bucket. Shiny my Ooh. ass. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. Not nice. A little. I believe you're real. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection, but it doesn't quite look like your average hard. Oh, he's being bucket. swayed by the bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdier. More capable of transporting liquid. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. Oh God! Oh my God! What am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. Just a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? Oh no! I'm, I'm having.
having feelings. The bucket. No, 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 no. What's going what? on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. It's getting weird here. Oh God. Stanley, give me the bucket. Give it to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. I need it. Give it to me now. Give it or I'll No. What? Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had Stanley Which one am I bucket. missing he out of the collectibles? All buckets everywhere. I feel like I've gone every way I can, was for but I might be Stanley missing something, so I might do one final playthrough later. And entered the door on his left. To see. Stairs, something to do with stairs. Oh, Stanley, can you feel it? The boom stairs are here. Once coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Oh, and there it is. The last squiggly wiggly. Stiggly, wiggly. Savor this moment, Stanley. This is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Same thing I'm doing now. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned. Oh wait, I've tried this before. I couldn't do anything. They do it with or without the bucket though. Try this one more time without the bucket. Oh, wait, this is open. I thought that closed up before. Maybe not. Wait, can I? Nothing doing. You know what? I do need to get back to the new content, but I still haven't been. Oh. Whoa. That's different, I think. Oh, okay. This is definitely different. A skate pod. What?
floor was it on? I'm just gonna keep running. Okay. There we go. Oh, God. So is this... Oh! What? <gasps> what? What the hell? Interesting. You know what? I think I'm going to call it there. That seems like most of the shit I could have done, but there might be more going on there. I'll look a little into it, because I want to see everything, but I think I've gotten... You know what? No, hold on. BRB. Tricky. All right. All right. 
let's keep going with this. Wrap this up in one go. Stanley, I'm Whoa. sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. Whoa, it's just, Whoa. It's those figurines. Those figures. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. What the one. fuck is this? Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? What is happening? Fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines just one more time. Sure. Oh, this is his, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is dip. Yeah, this is different. That's in a different spot before than before, I think. Ah, here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. Is he going to make me do it again? No. What? No. Shit. It faded away and I didn't grab it. And here was the second oh. Mandarine. You found this one all on your own, just by poking around in the boss's bathroom. You did that, Stanley. I'll be honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. Well, but shit, I miss that one. surprised me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. Damn it. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? Was there one in the office? Warehouse was later. Hey, that's exactly right. It was here behind the boss's office. It was the third one. You picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. <laughs> Let's see, what came next? Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh well, no. I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. Is that because I missed the first one? Or is this supposed to happen no matter what? This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was by the red and blue doors. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Oh, nice. Enjoy. Ah. This is funny. <laughs> Alright, this is weird and wild. doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. Now what? Uh. And then Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine. Right yeah. Here, under the stairs. 
this memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other, except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. Oh shit. There was no more. Because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, memory zone. Uh, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there somewhere we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that what? feels. All right, so backwards. Okay, yes, that spot under the stairs. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's all right, guy. Going. I want more. <clears throat> so I definitely missed the one. Son of a bitch. I don't think I need and them, though. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? <laughs> yeah, I love that video. It was a good one. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room. Same. Though. A solid room. Gonna be missing one. These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. Can't go that way. All right. This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. This is it. The very first one we found in yep. the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerine. That's oh, it. I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? Oh, shit. Collectibles exhibit. All right. It's pretty empty. Jump Look, circle, it's yep. It's terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then. But time does put a rosy filter on it. Oh, yes. The two, two doors. doors. Two Look, chains. I've forgotten that. A classic memory, this one. Oh. And before everything else, there was your office. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your I thought office? the two doors were first. There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then, I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then, somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy, and I came up with, well, I came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions, he would decide which way to go. 
I would cheer him on if he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley once, one more right. run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling this story so very much. Okay, here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. What the hell? Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it okay. mean? Stanley decided to go to the oh, meeting room. Oh, the bucket's Perhaps gone. Simply missed a memo. Hold on. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct Wait, way the to meet him. Gone. And Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first. Just no, hold on. Shit, but then I think I just interrupted whatever ending that might have been. Huh. Oh! Whoa, wait. What the hell? And try not to lose this one too, you do Stanley clutched the bucket what the tightly to his chest fuck? and entered the door on his left. Wait. Alright, this is different. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where... Oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? The broom clock coming to a staircase. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Can I... Wait, last time I did it with the bucket. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stuck. Do I want to do it without the bucket? Oh! Wait! See, now this is... Okay, hold on. Am I in the same one I just was in? Yeah. I did the escape pod, so let me do it without? How do I get back to the new content? Whoa! Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps Did I do this? Memo. By resetting? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, huh. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might... Okay. Let's see if it says that again. It said reboot. Now what? 
regular. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Say it again. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Reboot entirely. You know what? Hold on. I wonder if that, if this will actually do anything, or if rebooting means like start a new, a different game. Clear the cache. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked. Wait. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley mm. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I don't think that did anything. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Here's the door, just go. See, he did it that time. Every once in a while, he just, he does the just go. Okay. All right. See, now it's open without the bucket. <clears throat> so let's see what happens if I get there without the bucket. Am I going to get in? Alright, let's see what happens. Seven sixty. Is that going on? All right, one more. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What new mysteries lay in store for our bucket-loving heroes today? Let's find out. Let's. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. 
make sure I did all I can down here. Still, no one was here. I think I cleared this Stanley on the first run, but I only played that for like an hour, Morgan. so there's a good chance Perhaps I... Perhaps his boss's office was where... Or maybe a little staircase. longer. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. I don't know what this does. I'm going to have to look and see if there's something going on with that. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Going down. Oh, hold on. This is just going to take me Wait, right back. Stanley said to the bucket. Can we go back up? When I was pressing those keypad buttons, there was something very intriguing about the number three. I want to go back so I can try pressing the number three again. The bucket said nothing. The bucket said nothing. Number three, did you see? What are you talking about? Here we are, said Stanley. Now I'm going to try out that number three button. He took the bucket over to the keypad and began absolutely slamming on the number three over and over and over. Wow, he said. The number three is such a special button, I'm having the time of my life. Stanley looked expectantly <laughs> at the bucket, but the bucket remained silent. This was a shock to Stanley, who had always felt such a connection with the bucket. How was this not as exciting to the bucket as it was to him? Once Stanley had had enough of the number three, he got back in the elevator. All right, fine. Wait. Yeah, all right. Perhaps the bucket had missed something. Perhaps it had not seen how much joy Stanley got from slamming the number three repeatedly. Oh. Oh, no. A hint of regret nagged in the back of Stanley's mind. Should he demonstrate the number three for the bucket again? Yep, I guess we will. No, 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 said Stanley to the bucket. You can't go on yet. Not till you understand how much the number three means to me. You and I have been through so much together, and I just want you to see what I see. Feel the happiness I feel. He smiled at the bucket, and the bucket said nothing. Hmm. One more time. Here we go, said Stanley. This time I'll really show you. He ran to the number three and began to wail on it like a musician on a beloved instrument, weaving a concerto of truth and passion. He wielded the number three like a fine artist would wield a paintbrush. He told stories through the number three, stories of his dreams and hopes and fears. And the whole time, he looked to his bucket for a reaction of some kind. Anything to let him know that the bucket just tapping, dude. what he was doing. The bucket conveyed absolutely nothing at all. Only silence. Crushed by a wave of dejection, Stanley returned to the elevator. 
eight. Why did it say eight like that? All right, one more time. Stanley and the bucket were so close. They'd always been there for one another. Why suddenly could the bucket not connect with this passion of Stanley's? The question caused Stanley to ruminate the whole way down the elevator. He knew that there must be a way to get through to the bucket, to communicate fully with his dear friend. Surely there was a solution, mustn't there be? What is this guy doing to me? Stanley and the Bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read, Mind Control Facility. One more, just to make sure. <laughs> Said Stanley, I know what to do. I know how to fully express this feeling in my heart. He decided right then and there that he would hold a press conference where he would speak to the public on all matters relating to pressing the number three Hell over yeah. and over. He would elaborate fully on what the number three meant to him and why Wait, he felt am I? so alive when pressing. Okay, hold on. Then the bucket would be able I'm going to way higher. The through the eyes of others. It would get to see the world react to this discovery of Stanley's, and it would be through the public eye. That the bucket would finally understand Whoa. Stanley's work. Uh. For months, he advertised and marketed his press conference, building excitement around it, developing and rehearsing it until it couldn't be refined a single measure further. When the big day arrived, Stanley was as prepared as he'd ever been for anything in his life. <laughs> this was it. One last chance to win the bucket over. One opportunity to share a true connection with a loved one. We gonna do it. It's happening. <laughs> An audience with the dude who came up with pizza. There was no one here. Nobody had come to the press conference to hear Stanley speak, to listen to him talk about what it really means to press the number three on a keypad over and over. He was unloved, uninteresting, he was a failure, and in that moment Stanley knew that the bucket would never again take him seriously. Damn it. There would be no connection, no deeper understanding. The bucket merely sat there in his arms, indifferent. And so it began that slowly, over many years, the two of them grew more and more distant. No. They spoke less and less, neither no. wishing to state the obvious, that any sense of real respect between them had eroded since that day at the press conference. There would be no more games, no more long conversations about passion and pursuit, only a silence that consumed the space between friends. And Stanley... Having for once in his life discovered the warmth and comfort of true companionship was cast back into the unremarkable normalcy of loneliness. Damn. All right, I'm going to run through there one more time. Uh, that was weird. Now this, Stanley thought to himself, this is a bucket. And if he 
see the rules. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. And still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd found Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Sure did. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Okay. This is it. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind okay. Control Facility. Oh, shit. Need to call nine one four. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. See, I've already been here. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the Bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. True. Will it? Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things? It yeah, screw it. This is what I've already done. That's just the end leading to the control room, and I've done all four there. Okay. I don't know that there's anything else in here for me to do. There probably is. I'm with how many endings there are and pathways. I'm sure I missed something, especially goddamn secret content too. All the new content was gone. What could it mean? I could not Stanley get that to spawn to again. To meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It should have been right here. But it refuses to spawn, so... I don't know what I'm doing. You know what, actually, before I quit, let me see if there's anything in this heaven. Just to make sure. Do I have to do anything there? Yeah, you can only exit by quitting out. That's what it looks like. Oh wait, but I didn't... Hold on. No, because I can't get back in. Yeah, I can't get back in here. Oh, okay.
okay. To get in here with the bucket, there has to be certain conditions. Just a step through this door, Stanley's. Hold on. See if I can activate it. Mm -mm. All right, a few more tries, and I'm out of here. All of this could. All right, last try. If not, I'm gonna assume I've done most of what I can do, except again, the damn new content I can't revisit. I don't know how to get to that. Do I have to like beat the game again? Hold on. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He See one quick run. His left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling nope. a wave of disbelief, there ain't Stanley nobody. decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked up. Is it gonna auto to open it this time? Office. Yep. Here's Tight. the door. Just get over. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. He did. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? There's that platform. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. It means nothing to me. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused. Absolutely not. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It nope. was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Is that big show? Labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided to turn it off. Uh. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. 
unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open yes. door. Into life. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. All of his co-workers were gone. I didn't beat it in a certain amount of time. Stanley decided to go to the meeting oh, wait. room. Perhaps I'm just gonna check. Missed a memo. No new content. All right, so beating it doesn't do anything. Unless I gotta like circle around. Okay, well, that's it. I may or may not do one more playthrough if I find that there's stuff that I didn't get to, but. For now, that's the Stanley parable. GG. Close the door on it.